Hey y'all, what's up? It's Beyonce and I'm here serving you guys natural hair goals. All of y'all have fizz who said I did not have hair. Obviously, you can see I am serving you guys inches. This is homegrown Louisiana hair. This is Creole and a little bit of Negro. I'm serving you inches. Whoa. Merry Christmas and here's your edges. I'm gonna need a natural hair page to repost this picture of my hair to be an inspiration for women all around the world. Jessica, welcome back and thank you guys so much for tuning in today. So today's video is all about this gorgeous hairstyle that is inspired by no other than Beyonce. This Beyonce has been slaying more than usual lately, at least in my personal opinion. Like sis has not been playing any games with us at all. She recently stepped out rocking her natural hair and she was serving inches, she was serving texture, she was serving hair color, like she was just serving. When I saw the photos, I was like, okay, Beyonce, like I ain't never really been like, you know, we ain't never been here, but this look, I mean, she had the twins and she's just hasn't been playing games. I mean, is that what twins does to you? Cause if so, I need to be like, sign me up for twins like immediately. But I was totally here for her hair, totally here for the entire look. So in this video, I'm gonna share with you guys how I recreated her hairstyle. Like this is an inspiration. It's obviously not exactly how her hair looked, but I was just here for, girl, I'm here for big hair. I used my true and pure textures to achieve this look. This is their 16 inch Jasmine Coil clip-ins. You guys know I fools with the Jasmine Coil texture from True, from true and Pure Textures. Like I adore that texture so much. The density, the texture, the quality, it's amazing. So if you'd like to see how I try to slay like Miss Knowles, let's dive into the video. All right, you guys, I'm starting off with freshly blow dried hair. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take my rat tail comb and I'm going to divide my hair into two sections. Okay, so now that we have our sections divided, it's time to add our clip-ins. And so my clip-ins have been colored. I colored them last night. I also blow dried the hair too, so it'll, you know, blend with my hair. I have three bundles of clip-ins. The hair is super full and thick, which I love, and it took well to the color. Like, if you can see one track, it's still pretty thick. This is just one track, and that's already like a bunch of hair. Now to add the clip-ins. I'm gonna start from the very, very bottom. And then I'm just gonna brush my clippings out. So this one has two clips and they're close together and that'll be perfect for the space right here. All right, so that first track is in. I'm gonna go ahead and add the rest of them in and then I'll be right back. All right, so I'm back with a head full of hair, giving you lion vibes, okay? The clippings are added in. I feel like they look super natural. My hair blends pretty well with the clippings. So yeah, this is a lot of hair. Okay, so this is the front of my hair. Now I'm gonna add the clippings. The clippings I'm gonna use are the ones that have the two close together because I feel like they will fit better in the ponytail in the front. And I have five, so I'm gonna try to fit all five in this small section of my hair. brush it together so that it blends a little bit better. In order to get my hair super sleek, or as sleek as I possibly can, I'm going to use my Got To Be Ultra Glue Styling Gel. I'm just going to kind of smooth this on my hair. That way I can put this in a ponytail and get it as sleek as I possibly can. Now I'm gonna tie my hair up. I'm gonna be using this one. This is easier for me to kind of like wrap my hair around. This is called, I believe, a snappy. I love this thing. 
Then you just snap it together after your hair is tied. All right. <laughs> So this is what I'm working with so far. So in order to get that texture that Beyonce has, she had a lot of texture in her hair. I'm gonna braid all of this up so that we can get some of those waves that she had. in the footage. So after I braided my hair, you guys saw I used the flat iron and the flat iron is what I used to try to achieve like that wavy texture. It'll just give it a little bit more texture. I would prefer to use a, a I think it's called a crimper. I had one like back in high school and I don't have one now, but that would have really gave me like the waves and the crimps that she had in her hair. Nonetheless, I think I did a pretty good job at recreating it. Like it's not exactly the same, but it's still serving you that same fierce volume. It's giving you texture. And that's what this look is all about. It's all about texture. So glad Beyonce was rocking her natural hair. She is giving me natural hair gold. She's making me want to grow out my hair, keep it blonde and just see what it do. The clip-ins are amazing. I love these clip-ins. Like this is after coloring them. This is after blow drying them and look how full like oh my god I, I live for the volume I live for the texture I think I did like a really good job the color is everything I love the color I also wrapped a piece of the hair around the band so you wouldn't be able to see it so that's that look right there I feel like my hair texture blends perfectly with this hair like you could see this is my obviously because it's shorter but I feel like the blonde like it blends really really well like what more can you say about hair like this it's super super soft I'm not getting excessive shedding it combs and it, it just styles very very well and I think it does give you that Beyonce vibe so that's all you guys I hope I didn't miss anything if I did if you have any questions be sure to leave them down below in the comment section and also girl tell me how you're feeling this Beyonce look okay I'm telling y'all Beyonce has not been sparing us any edges lately like at all be sure to check the description box for all information in regards to this hair and anything else make sure you guys follow me okay follow me on snapchat follow me on twitter follow me on instagram follow me on facebook i'll leave all my information in the description box but if you're not following me girl follow me and also be sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you have not subscribed and then you endured all this slang and you still have not subscribed i'm just gonna remind you to just subscribe because if you took all this in girl there's more to come Okay, and that's all. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.